Welcome to Lavelle Clay Tours Projects with a Purpose. In this episode, we will be working in Microsoft Word number six. We are going to create a signature and date line, and then we're going to automate it. Let's begin. Say you have a document and you need to add a signature line. I want to show you a quick way to be able to create a signature and add a code word to it where it will pop up every time you type it. Okay, so let's get down to the very bottom of the document. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you click your mouse where you want to add this signature line. And let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Okay, I think that's a good spot. Okay, so you're gonna to need to go to your insert tab and you're gonna to go to your tables group you're gonna click the down arrow for tables. And what we need is a two column and two row table. So when you look at the very top, it says two times two table. That's what we're looking for. Now it makes it a little bit smaller. Now what I'm gonna do, I wanna click in the second row, the first cell, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna type sign here. And I'm going to press my tab on my keyboard and it's going to take me to the cell to the right and I'm going to type the word date. And I still need to make this a little bit smaller. So what I want to do here, I want to remove the lines at the top, the bottom, the left, and the right, and the middle. So in order to do that, if you notice over here on the left side, you see your table selector. And that's, it is the square with the plus sign. So I'm gonna click on it once and it's going to select the table. Now I'm gonna to go to my home tab. I'm going to go to my paragraph group. In the second row, the last command is borders. I'm gonna click the down arrow and I'm gonna go all the way down to the very bottom to where it says borders and shading so that I can customize. I'm gonna click once. Once I've done that, I'm gonna check and make sure I'm in the borders and shading dialog box and the active tab is borders. So in the third column, so this will be column one, column two, column three, is the preview section. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the lines that I want to remove. So I have my top line, I'm gonna click once, and it's gonna remove that. My left line, I'm gonna click once, it removed it. And then I'm also gonna click the one on the right, it removed it. The one on the bottom, I'm gonna click that one. And then I'm gonna click the line in between. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK at the bottom. So now, as you see, I have this signature uh, line here where you could sign here and then your date. Now, also what I wanna show you is that this is too long. What you can do is go all the way over here to your right to this little resize box. And when you take your mouse, your cursor turns into a two-headed arrow. Just click and hold your mouse and move it over. And then also, if you need to move the, word, the date over, if you move your mouse a little bit slowly to the left, you're going to get a two-headed arrow with two lines. Just click and hold your mouse and pull to the right and it will move it over. So now I think this looks pretty good and let's check. I'm gonna do Control P for print. And see, that looks really nice at the bottom of my document. I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard to get out of this. Now what I wanna do, I wanna add a code word to this so that I can add it very quickly to any document that I need to add a signature line. Now, the first thing that you wanna do, you wanna click on the table selector. So I'm gonna click on it once. Then I'm gonna go to my insert tab over to my right, I'm going to go to my text group. Now within the text group, I'm going to click the down arrow for quick parts. And I'm going to go all the way down here to the bottom to where it says auto text. And then I'm going to click where it says save selection to auto text gallery. I'm going to click on that once. And I'm going to go straight to my keyboard and I'm going to type um, sign here. So that's my code word. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. 
Now, this is really cool. I'm going to do control N for new on my keyboard. And when I type the word sign, see how I get the pop up? All I have to do is press my enter key and it will add it wherever my insertion point is. So this is a really cool feature. Now, once you've created this and your boss says, hey, or you're looking at it and you're like, you know what? I really need to change the words. All you have to do is just select the words that you want to change and say you want to put signature um, and title. Oops, sorry. Okay. Title. Now, and if you need to make it a little bit longer, you're just going to go over to the right to your resize um, button. And when your mouse cursor shape turns into a two headed arrow, just click and hold and move it over. And so now you have this way of inserting a signature line very quickly. Now, say for some reason, you want to type the word sign here, but you don't want the signature line to show up. So let me do control N on my keyboard and see how when I type sign, now see how you get the pop up. If you just keep typing and then press your um, space bar, it'll put those words there. Okay, now if you decide that you do not want this, um, and let me close this. And don't save okay say you don't want to be able to use this signature line anymore you're like nope don't want to use it anymore the way to remove it is to go to your insert tab and go over to your text group you're going to click the down arrow for quick parts you're going to go all the way down to the bottom to where it says building blocks organizer so what I like to do when I get inside the building blocks organizer dialog box where it says name, I like everything to be in alphabetical order. So I'm going to click on the button for name and it will reorganize this in alphabetical order. I'm going to scroll down because I need to find the word that I gave it, which was sign here. And it's a little ways down. So I thought I saw it. Uh, there it is. Okay, now when I click on it, see how it gives you like a little sample of what it's going to look like and it also gives you the name here. Now, all I have to do is press delete on my keyboard and it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete it from the building blocks? Yes, I am. And then you're going to close it. Now, let me do control N for a new document. And when I type the word sign, see how you don't get the pop up? So that's just letting you know that it's no longer available for you to use. Let me go ahead and close these, close this one, close, don't save. I should be back to my document. I would like to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you learned something new and something you can use. If you're ever interested in any additional trainings, please feel free to reach out to me. I would like you to have an amazing day.